Previously on Tamarak Bati. Hello children, today, we have two new students joining us in our class. I would like you to meet Matt and Nina. My name is Matt. My name is Nina and it's so nice to meet you all. More like nerdy Nina. Ha 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 ha. There's a really hot guy who got transferred to my class. He's so dreamy. The only problem is that he keeps hanging out with nerdy Nina. That girl really needs to back away from him. Well, 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 where did you get the outfit from? The thrift shop. Stop being so rude, Dora. Hey, now, it's okay. I'm here for you. How about we go to the mall? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Hey, that really wasn't cool of you, Dora. She doesn't deserve this treatment. All she needs right now are some good friends. Now back off and leave her alone. He's definitely into her. Let me know when you're ready. How do I look? Wow, you look totally amazing. I can't believe that you're the same Nina I knew an hour ago. We have received a complaint regarding Dora's behavior towards a new student. Dora, please do not enter the school gates for the next one month. You're suspended until then. Nina, you shouldn't have reported me to the principal. You're trying to steal Matt away from me. It was me. I was the one who reported you to the principal. The way you treated my sister yesterday was so unfair. Wait, so if you're saying that Nina is your sister, does that mean that I still have a chance to be with you? Absolutely not. I'd rather have a girl who shows nothing but respect towards my sister. Someone like Gina. This is so ridiculous. You nerds can hang out on your own. I'm out. Darn it. I did it again. I got myself grounded and suspending for a whole month. Dora. While you're here, I want you to go and clean up the attic. But I don't want to. I don't care. It's your punishment. Since you're not at school, you can help out with the chores. Fine. Whatever will make your annoying mouth shut up like this. Hey. Don't you dare speak to me like that. Now go. Oh gosh. This place is a mess. I don't know where to start cleaning first. Wait. Is the dance telescope? He hasn't used it in ages. I forgot it was even here. I'm gonna take it down to my room and use it. There we go. Now let's see what this bad boy can do. Wait, am I dreaming? Is the nerdy Nina? What's she doing in my street? Oh my god. Matt's there too. No way. They've been my neighbors this whole time. And I never knew it. Man, I really could have gotten Matt's life be way easier. Hold on. I can spend this month looking at Matt with the telescope. I mean, what else is there to do in this one month that I haven't done already? Wake up Dora. A month has passed, which means that you're ungrounded and unsuspended. Come on. Get out of bed and get ready for school. Oh man. Time flew by way too soon. Good morning everyone. Before we start, I want to welcome someone back to class. Hey guys. I'm back. Did you miss me? Wait. Where are Nana and Matt? They're moving to New York City next week. Nina got a modeling job offer there, and she was offered millions of dollars. Matt and Nina will be going to a prestigious school there. Wait, what? Oh no. This cannot be happening. Wait, so what I heard is true. Are you actually moving to New York? Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. I mean, isn't that what you wanted in the first place? To get rid of me? Oh. So it was you who bullied Nina. The troublemaker who lives opposite my house. Why am I not surprised? Oh believe me, I was surprised when I found out that you're my neighbors. When did you even move here anyways? I'm pretty sure this house was owned by someone else. We moved here two months ago in hopes of having a better life. Lo and behold, you're the reason our lives are going to change drastically in the best way possible. Will you stop rubbing it in my face? I know the karma came back to me. You don't have to remind me every five business seconds. 
Sure, now if you don't mind, we've got places to go to, you're keeping us waiting. Come on kids, let's go. I have to do something about this. I can't let them live a better life than mine because of me. Plus I want to keep on looking at Matt through my window. Wait, they won't be able to move if they don't manage to sell this house. I have an idea. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Hello there, young girl. Are your parents selling this house? Yes. It looks really nice. And this neighborhood seems quiet. This is the perfect place for us. Oh, I don't think you're aware that the train passes this road a couple hundred times a day. Plus, the dog next door is so loud. We'll pass. Thanks, though. Yes. I got them so good with that dog barking sound effect. Hello there. Can you give me some information about this house? Okay, but prepare yourself for some bad news. Oh no. What is it? Mother Nature placed a curse on this house. At least twice a day, a dark cloud appears above this house and it starts raining cats and dogs. See? I told you. I'm out of here. Wow, Mother Nature must really love me. I didn't expect that to actually happen. Calm down, girl. This is something I do once a day to one lucky house across the whole world to plant a magical flower. What you're doing to these people is so messed up. Karma is my boyfriend. He sent me here to tell you that he's gonna come back to get you. And not in a romantic way. You have been warned. Oh please. No one can stop Doro the Troublemaker. In fact, I'm gonna have to step it up a notch if I want to be successful. Ah yes. Here it is. My stink bob kit. This will surely come in handy. This house is cute and its price is in my budget. But what is this awful smell? Sorry. I forgot to mention that this house has a really bad drainage problem. It might cost you a fortune to fix it. Oh, I'll pass then. Thanks, anyways. Yes, the stink bobs have done their job well. And I can't believe those nerds forgot to lock the door behind them. Now, I've got another idea which will surely scare people away. Hey, could you? It's me. I need your help. Come to the house opposite my home, and make sure to bring Yuka's costume with you. I'll see you soon. I'm really sorry to bother you guys, but if you're on your way to take a look at the upcoming house which is for sale, I'd suggest that you pass it. It's not worth it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. Hey you. Little girl. I wanna take a look at this house. Sure, Macho. But it's my responsibility to tell you that this house was haunted. Do you really expect me to believe such a lie from a young girl like you? Everybody knows that ghosts don't exist. Fine. But don't say that I didn't warn you. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Oh my god. It's a ghost. A real one. Oh my god. That was definitely the best trick I pulled today. Care to explain what's going on? I had nothing to do with this. I'm just making sure that no one removes this for sale sign. More like you're driving people away from our house. Dora, I'd like you to meet my dad. You. What are you doing here? The real question is, what are you doing here? You see, I met a potential buyer earlier, and she told me that this place isn't worth buying. My wife knew that you were behind this. So she called me and told me to take some time off work to see what was going on. We caught you red-handed. You're sabotaging us. Okay look, I'm sorry, it's true. I am sabotaging you guys. But apart from the fact that I don't want you to go to New York because I'm jealous of Nina, it's also because I still have a crush on Matt. And I don't want to be away from him. I know that he's with Gina, but I just couldn't help looking at him through my bedroom window. Gina and I didn't end up getting together, 
but we're still best friends, so you could have had a slight chance at getting with me if you only apologized for what you did to Nina. But this is the final straw, and knowing that you're stalking me through your window doesn't make this situation any better. Thank god we're moving away from you. Come on. Follow me. We're going to let your parents know about this. Oh my god. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. How dare you sabotage the neighbor's easy for sale and stalk them through your window. That's it. You're grounded for a whole century. Go up to your home right now. Oh, there you are Karma. Hey there Mother Nature. Did you take care of Dora Marquez? Yep, she's grounded for a very long time. She had it coming. Finally, here we are, at our new home.